What is good, thicknesses of all ages? It's Death Hog, and today we have Battlefield Hardline Beta Review. And yeah, I've been playing it for a few hours, getting a good feel for it, and yeah, it's a pretty, pretty solid beta. I like it better than the Battlefield 4 beta because mostly there's vehicles in this, and it's all new. There's no old stuff in this. I mean, it, I mean, there's old guns, but it's all new mechanics, a whole bunch of new stuff that was not in any Battlefield before this, and I think it's just better. And, I mean, it does have its issues, but besides that, there's a lot of good stuff that we're going to talk about. So, let's get in to the first category. Alright, guys, first category we have is weapons. And so far, the weapons in the beta is the M16A3, the AKM, the G36C. Uh, those are, like, the stock weapons. I don't know if you can unlock anymore. But then there's the... Uzi, the UMP, and the P90. There's the MG36. Uh, I think there might be the M240 Bravo, but I'm not sure. I know there's the R7000 and shotgun. There's the 870P Marine Magnum and the sawed off shotgun. Pistols. There's just a bunch of pistols and there's a Magnum. Uh, yeah, not, nothing really important from the pistol category, but a lot of interesting weapons that I like. And as you just saw, me using the zip line, getting a collateral, I was amazed, and I thought that was the greatest thing I think I've ever accomplished so far. That was just amazing. <laughs> and so, speaking of zip line, let's get into the next category of gadgets. Alright, guys, next category we got is gadgets, and gadgets are uh, specific to each class, but some of them are across all classes. For example, all kits we got gas mask, grappling hook, and the zip line so far in the beta. And yeah, so that's for all classes. And then for the operator, you can get a med kit, a revive, which is the equivalent, the spiritual successor to the defibrillator. And there's also the survivalist. Now, survivalist, you're going to see me use in a few seconds. Right now, it lets you to revive yourself. You only get it once per deploy. And it's actually really useful, really balanced, because people can kill you as you're reviving yourself. And yes, yeah, so there's that. And then for the mechanic, there's the RPG and the repair tool. Enforcer is ammo box, ballistic shield, and breaching charge. Professional, oh, professional, there's laser trip mine, camera, and decoy. So, those are all the gadgets. You saw them scrolling across the bottom of your screen. And let's get into the next category of melee weapons. Alright, guys, this category we got here is melee weapon. This is nice, short, and sweet. It is knife, baseball bat, and th the police baton. And. Uh, I guess they're all pretty self-explanatory. Knife is a knife. Baseball bat. Baseball bat. The police baton is kind of like a nightstick. I don't know. From GTA, I know it's a, a nightstick. It's the black thing that police have, and that's the default one. And it's pretty cool. And I like using the baseball bat. <clears throat> I have not tried out the knife yet. And there's a really cool melee system that was not in Battlefield 3 or 4. When you melee, after you're done, the, uh... The melee weapon actually comes back, so you can, uh, like, if you want to use it again in rapid su succession, you don't have to switch back to your gun and then knife again. It's, like, ready for you to go, so if you click it again, it'll just keep swinging. And I actually like that, so those are three melee weapons. That's a new kind of thing, so we're going to the next category. All right, guys, next up, we got vehicles, and there's actually quite a bunch, actually. And so, to start us off, the first vehicle we have is the armored uh, armored attack truck and actually that's like an SUV and then there's the uh, mobile command post which is like a SWAT van that you can spawn in and then there is the squad car it's like a police car there's the police interceptor which is a fast police car it goes really fast and can take a lot of hits the intervention SUV which is uh, it's like a car car like a kind of like a hybrid car I, I, I kind of like a jeep i don't know i don't know how to explain it and then there's a bunch of civilian cars which i thought was really cool there's the sedan the van which is like rapist van and then there's a muscle car armored suv that's in there it's in there too and i think that's it then for motorcycles we got motorcycle bike and street bike same thing one has the sirens and then helicopters, we got transport helicopter, executive helicopter, patrol helicopter, and rogue helicopter. 
And then transport helicopter, police helicopter, transport, no guns, troll, gun, executive, no guns, rogue, guns, and so that's it for the vehicles. Alright guys, next we get the new gameplay mechanic, uh, mechanics and this is just what I felt <clears throat> was different between Battlefield 4 and this. Uh, definitely it's a lot easier to kill people in moving cars. It's a lot easier I think to kill people in general, uh, at least just with the gun I'm using. And then I somehow escaped this melee, I don't know what happened. I guess he was killed or something? Don't know. But I think driving's a lot easier because, you know, it's not a battlefield, there's like straight roads and stuff, so driving feels so much more fluid and so much more smooth. So there's that. And then just, overall, just the gameplay feels very smooth. And then there's this, there's the, uh, the rep perk. And that's after you go on like a good kill streak or you play a lot of the objective, you get you get to pick between at least in the beta, it's uh, between a flak jacket and increased chest protector. So it's like uh, it's like a ballistic vest and a flak jacket. And I don't know, let me see if there's anything else uh, besides the driving. Uh, I don't know, everything felt there's like this new thing when you start shooting at a car, your crosshair changes. So I think it's just easier to hit the car. And yeah, so that's that's it for that. Moving on to the next one. Also, guys, forgot to mention the new way of unlocking things is sort of like Black Ops One. If you guys remember that, you need to uh, you need to first of all unlock it, and then then you can pay for it using the money. You get money for everything. If you destroy equipment, you get like twenty bucks. And I just it's so good. I like it. So just wanted to add that in there. Let's move on to. Uh, all right, new game modes. We have blood money and heist. Heist. There is uh, vans all over the place, uh, and they start exploding. And you need, uh, you gotta either go there. The uh, the whoever the um uh, crim the police criminals are, they go, they blow it up, and they start collecting the money. You e you need to after they blow up, the police either need to take it and bring it back to their safe uh, van and start collecting the money and that's how that works I think there's like two there's two briefcases and then up, or if you're the criminals you blow it up and you take it to your your van and that's how you win whoever gets both the briefcases otherwise I think a, like a third one pops up and you gotta go to overtime so I think that's how that works and then there's blood money um, there's just like a, a vault in the middle of the map and you gotta keep going there and taking the money and bringing it back to your uh, safe van, depositing it in. and whoever has the most money at the end of like 15 minutes wins and I like both these game modes, pretty solid pretty solid alright guys, final rating I'm gonna give this beta a 4.5 out of 5 so that's I'm gonna give that an A That's a, this is a really solid beta I think Everything's really well balanced, at least on PS3. I don't know how it is on PC. But on PS3, I had a really enjoyable time, and it's a really fun game. It's like GTA and Payday and Battlefield. They had a free sum and had a baby, and this was that. And it's really good. So if you guys haven't checked it out, you could still go to, I believe it's like, just type in, just Google Battlefield Hardline, go to the website, sign up for the beta. I got my key after like two, three days, and you can just hop on. Pretty good stuff. So. Uh, do you feel like button, subscribe button, and spit that talk. Adios, bye.